Hi guys, so I'm feeling better from my cold and I've got the itch to go out. Not sure where we'll end up, but one thing's for sure, let's go shopping. You know, I couldn't resist a trip to Target, so I headed in and they had stocked so many new items. I'm starting with my favorite, that is this tin bread box. So it would fit probably a wonder size loaf of bread. It is really cute for $5 and my favorite version of it is in the black with the bread bold text. Speaking of that, they've got a few signs hitting the shelves for $5. They are all metal, lots of black and white. This one would be perfect for Valentine's Day, which we will get to here in a second, some new items. I love this one in the wash your hands. I'm seeing some new throws. Those are $5 as well. They're a very lightweight, gauzy type of throw. It also comes in pink and a sage or mint green. Some pillows over here that I'll be showing you guys a bunch of pillows in a second. But first I had to share these. They come in the two pack for $5, one for the dishes and hands. And that coupled with these vinyl tiles, I think we're gonna see more for the kitchen. First, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff for the laundry room. They're putting out these nice little rugs. They're small, $5 a piece. Do love this one. It is canvas, so you could even use it as a wall hanging. And they have some adorable old school washing boards for $3. It comes in three versions. This one with the laundry on it, then they've got the laundry room hours, and then the chalkboard version. I'm guessing we'll have more laundry items. Now this is metal, you could use magnets on it. This is so cute. So it's just a vase, but it excites me. It's $5. It is glass. There's a cylinder like you'd find at the Dollar Tree in the center, and then they've got the metal and this. So this is a bud vase holder in the metal. Again, it does have the little glass inserts for $5 and planters. Now you guys know I'm a gardener. These are cute, decorative. There's one that is probably only about three inches tall and the other that's probably closer to six, but I don't think they'll hold a real plant. Sorry, just being honest. I'm finding more glass items, the bud vases, and a few more signs from the coffee collection I showed you guys last time. So now let's get into what I'm finding for Valentine's Day. I love this and it's only $5. So I just found the red. I'm guessing it probably comes in pink and white. This is the only one in my store and it's coming home with me. They're also doing some more things for Valentine's baking, including a set of tools for $3 some wood items. So they've got this heart that is $5, no hanger on the back of that. Now it's a good size, but they also have this one that is sort of a engraved heart. I think I like this one better. Not sure if they're part of the kitchen line, but right next to them, I did find some cake pedestals. So these are very lightweight metal and $5. Now, I only found it in white. Let me know if you've seen it in other colors down below in the comments. They're also putting out some really nice aprons. They have a neutral in the gray and white. I love this one in the pink, and they've got one in red as well. Now, along with the towels, I'm guessing we'll see more table linen. For now, I am finding some dish towel sets for $5. This one with the little hearts on the ends, so cute. Also a pet version, and this one that gave me so much joy, and it is so true. I'm also finding some cookie cutters in I Heart You and some molds in a few different versions. These are all $3 a piece, even for the cookie cutters, where you get quite a few. And I have to tell you, I was very tempted by this pink mold with the lips. It's so cute. They are $3, kind of wish they were just a dollar. Now some pillows. I'm guessing this one's for Valentine's Day. Now it doesn't say specifically, but it is a $5 lumbar pillow. I'm also finding it in this version, Welcome to Our Nest, that has the stripes and this one in a square. Lots of bright colors and then a green stripe, very similar to the red. Down here, some more DIY wood pieces, the heart and the round, and they both have a chalkboard. Now for a few non-Valentine dish towels. So I am seeing a lot of black and white and green. They've got this pair that I thought was interesting with the flowers and the plaid. They also have this one in the black with the white tassels, and they've also got this one with some green tassels. Hello, sunshine. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of green this spring, and a lot of houses seems to be a trend. So these little houses are planters. They're $3 a piece. Now I had heard about and seen the larger version for five. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. They do have two sizes. 
So this is the larger one. They do both have drain holes and they come in four different houses. There is an approximate idea of the size difference. I'm also finding a ton of floral. I showed a little bit in our last trip in. I am finding some new things, these mini pots, which are tiny for $3. They do have a lot of palms down here for five and then the topiaries are back. Now, a few of their picks I say are definitely worth $3. I'm curious to hear from you. Where do you buy your floral? Do you check out the Target dollar spot for floral or is that kind of last on your list? Our last trip, we found a bunch of different shelves. Now I am finding some more wood items. These are $5. This is just a little display house, give you guys an idea of the size. So that'd be great if you have some tchotchkes. They also have some shelves. Now, this one is very old school with the yellow caning and they do have the holders. Now I think that this is a book ledge, but I think you could turn it the other way, put maybe a roll of paper and have an art station. They are putting out pairs of wooden bins. So this is inside and outside of a few different ones. Recently I was in, didn't film and they had it with hearts on it. So keep your eye out for that. The trays are back that we saw last fall. So this is a restock for $5. It does come in the square and the round that I've shared with you guys before. Something that is new is this little canister. I think it is adorable. It's coming home with me. I only found it in the black. It is sort of like a honeycomb ceramic. And they brought back the pair of the round metal and wood pedestals. Love these, I own them. They're also putting out things for organization. These bins are huge for $5. They have the flip down supports so you can stack them. And you guys, these are a great size for $5. Now, speaking of organization, I am finding some baskets in felt that you button together for $5. I found it in gray and white and this collapsible bin for $5. A few things for the garden, then we'll head back and look at the rest of the store. These are $1 items, these little plant metal stakes and the gnome that did come home with me. These are some little pots. They do have drainage holes. The ones on the right with the design are, are ceramic. They also have some in plastic, but I was so glad to see these only at a dollar. They also have this that is a little bit bigger, but it's just plastic. And they also have drainage for a dollar. Now for three dollars, they have some really cute planters. So they've got a little kitty cat for three, a sloth that is really cute. And they also have a little dog. Definitely looks like bullseye if you ask me. Now our last trip in, we saw these in pink and black. It looks like it also comes in blue. And I want to give you guys a closer look at these little palms down here. They're pretty impressive. So I don't love the container that they're in but it is a really good full-size miniature plant for $5. For $3, they are putting out pairs of tea towels, those type of dish towels that are really lightweight, and the matching pot holder. So they come in four different versions. I think it's a good indicator of what we'll see ahead. I do love this pair, Home Sweet Home in the green with the houses. And they have some blues for the blue lovers. So I think we can look forward to seeing more like that. A few Valentines, then we'll head back to the rest of the store. These are sets of socks for $3. You get two pair. They also have some felted Valentine containers. This one's really cute. I think this one is an arrow holder. They also have it in a heart in blue. These little pops that are, I guess that's what you call them, poppers. They're only a dollar. They also have some nice trinket trays in the initials for a dollar. So let's head back to the rest of the store, see what's going on over here in the party section. They always put out a few items for crafts and they do have a lot of hearts to choose from for $5. They also have some cement pair, paint your own hearts. I love the hugs and kisses. They also have a trinket box. It's really cute with a little frame on top and a heart shaped frame. You could leave them wood or paint them. Now let's see what they've got hitting the shelves for Valentine pillows. I'm seeing lots of color. I believe only two of these were out last time we were in. So they do have a few on the bottom that are 20, but the majority of them are $10. They also have some throws for Valentine's Day. I'm finding three different versions. Not a fan of that red print, but I love this one in the pink. Over in my threshold section, you may think you have entered a jungle. I did. I was so surprised by the transformation from Christmas to palm trees, but they're putting out a ton of greenery and just a few other items I'm going to show you guys as well. 
I'm definitely thinking that we're going to see a lot of pastels. They are putting out some things over here, some woven baskets. I'm show you more of those in a second. And lots of pink and beige and green and blue. So they are putting out this whole wall of pillows and they repeat patterns. There are lumber pillows and the larger ones in gingham in all those color combos. So that is one side of this section. And then the center is full of different plants. Now I'll show you guys what's over here on the other side. This side is full of more baskets. I do love this. Now it is a good size, but it is pricey. I believe it is 50, no, $40. I'm also seeing some wreaths. These are dried florals. I love that one in the lavender. I'm also seeing lots of vessels. So white ceramic, the dark lightish brown glass, and then a lot of this more modern Studio McGee look. Now for some of their floral. I know I was asking you guys in the dollar spot. I am curious. Do you pick it up in the dollar spot or back by Threshold and the other brands? I tend to like the things over in this section more, but with them comes a higher price tag. So I usually avoid Target for florals unless I find a great deal. They are putting out some wreaths for the spring, both dried and some faux floral. So now let's head back to the seasonal department where they have transformed the back of the store from Christmas to I would say summer, not even spring. Now I wanna share these planters. They come in four sizes. They have one for 20, the extra large for 30, the minis are eight, and these, I guess, would be the medium for 12. They are putting out all kinds of planters. I always love to keep my eye out for what they're putting out and then cross my fingers. I might find some on clearance because this section is gorgeous, but it is a little pricey. Now, I have scored some items from here in the past, and they do tend to last forever. I did think these were fun. These are ceramic wind chimes. Those are so cool. Look like bells. They're also putting out some beautiful watering cans. They have gold and some pewter, the green, lots of little markers for your garden. I do think these are really pretty tools with the matte black on the bottom and some larger items. So these are Studio McGee. They are back in my garden section. These are trays. So there are two sizes. I believe they're 30 and 40. Down here, more baskets. They actually have a picnic basket. Then it sort of transitions into where they have all their lanterns. And there's a few that I love, this white one included. So I'm seeing that they have the extra large ones and then large and then small and medium up top. So I'm sure we'll be seeing more soon. Now this green lantern is by Opal House. It is very heavy and gorgeous. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Haven't picked it up yet. It does come in two other sizes and they have left me wondering what is next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick trip into Target with me. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you back very soon.